Touchdown in Ibiza, Spain. I'm here for the next four days and I cannot wait to share with you this little adventure that we are about to embark on. Let's go. So just to provide a little bit of context, I'm actually not DJing over here. I'm here really just to visit some of the exceptional nightlife and also as well catch some of my favorite DJs play. And don't get me wrong, this channel is not suddenly about to change into some kind of like travel channel. It's still all about DJing and all about i guess my life as a dj as well and i think if you are learning to dj if you are a dj it is so so important watch how other djs also structure their sets so over the next four days i'm going to give you a few travel tips here and there if you've never been here before but also as well share with you some of the nights out that i'm going on some of the parties some of the clubs and really just to give you my thoughts and my views on them to be honest when i see other djs play this is where i get like the the most inspiration for my DJ sets. Anyway, let's get out and about and I will show you this resort that we are staying in. So out here, I'm staying in a resort called Playa Den Bossa, which is ideal if you want to go to the big nightclubs over here. There is another resort called San Antonio, which is also home to um, a couple of the super clubs. However, in my opinion, Playa Den Bossa is a little bit better because it's got the really in-demand nightclubs such as Schwire and High. Also, if you wanted to go to Pasha, which is also um, a really famous nightclub, that's about 10 minutes from here. Whereas if you're in San Antonio, you've got the likes of Eden and S Paradise. Again, great clubs. However, they're not quite as popular as they used to be. And to get to Pasha, it's actually further in a taxi. The other thing with Playa de Mbosa is it is a beachfront resort. The beach is absolutely incredible. Like it's golden sand, it's massive massive it's like miles long tonight we've got uh, two events and one of them is um, the Ushuaia rooftop just for some drinks and we'll be able to see over into the club and um, following on from that we're going over the roads to high as it is um, glitter box so really looking forward to it and I'll give you my full review and full thoughts of the night for now though I'll show you a few shots of this town if you wanted to come here and stay Some video clips there from the Ushuaia rooftop looking over the main club of Ushuaia which looked absolutely incredible. Armin van Buren was actually playing last night and then also from Glitterbox which is a subsidiary of uh, the defected record label over at High in Ibiza. Now I will say that was my first ever visit to the High nightclub. Formerly it was known as Space, which was a legendary nightclub here in Ibiza, changing over to High in I think 2017. And it really does now have that kind of premium uh, feel to it. In terms of the entrance prices, in terms of the drink prices, it does definitely have a luxurious feel. In terms of the drinks, like a vodka and a mixer, just as a guide, is about about 22 euros that's about 24 dollars or about 20 pounds English sterling and yeah the nightclub was incredible like the production in there the dance floor even the smell of it like I, I, I can't describe it there was like a scent to it um, which really made it feel quite like nice um, the club was literally spotless and I do think that if you're paying a premium you kind of need that but at the same time it makes you want to pay a bit more if you are getting that kind of experience. In terms of the DJ sets, there was Eats Everything, there's Luke Solomon, we had also Kenny Dope, Ultimate old school DJ playing disco house and really some sort of throwback anthems in there which was absolutely incredible if you are visiting Ibiza a night at high is 
definitely, definitely one that I would recommend. Anyways, on to tonight, we are going over to San Antonio Bay, so in a taxi, gonna get some food, and then on the way back, we're going to Amnesia. So if you like Kevin and Perry, the film, and um, if you like sort of historic venues, then this is going to be the nightclub for you. Like Amnesia does have a lot of heritage here on the island. I'll show you some uh, video footage from our night tonight. few clips there from Amnesia last night. What an absolutely iconic and incredible venue that was. Couple of things, however, from last night that really kind of disappointed me a little bit. Well, not disappointed me, I still had an incredible night, but number one, the programming of the venue. So what I mean by this is they had obviously a lineup in place for the terrace, which is actually the second room. And they put on a really high energy DJ really early in the night so it just meant that when the next dj came on afterwards it kind of like brought the vibe down a little bit the other thing as well in that terrace massive massive venue the lights whoever was controlling the lights was pretty shocking um i just felt that like they missed all the drops you know where the strobe should be going off and um all the lights should be going crazy and they literally had them on some kind of like warm-up mode all night where they would just kind of doing like little gentle beams all night so it was a little bit weird in terms of the atmosphere but overall an incredible venue um, one of my favorites and it is such an Ibiza classic as it has been here since like 1974 on to tonight then and we are doing something a bit different um, over to Ushuaia which is an outdoor open air nightclub um, we are going to see Camel Fat and Salado it was their opening party last week tonight musically should be quite like melodic that's usually what Camel Fat play hopefully like you're enjoying this video just kind of filming I guess every day in terms of the events that we're doing um, just so that if you ever wanted to come to Ibiza then you get a bit of a flavor for what is available nightlife wise also as well as i said it is so so important as a dj in my opinion to go out there and see other djs play like it's how i get all my inspiration for my sets and also as well it's just good to see what works and what doesn't work and how different djs structure their night so hopefully you are enjoying these videos last night at Ushuaia great vibe great venue musically just yeah not really for me um too too melodic too slow I quite like the big pumping beats last night tonight we're back over at high and checking out Fisher for his Wednesday residency just thought I'd show you the beach here absolute vibe so look at it this is the Playa de Embossa beach which literally stretches for miles and there's loads of like beach clubs and bars here as well which is pretty sick the vibes in Ibiza are unbelievable if you've never been you need to get yourself here um, just what an incredible place right one final night then in Ibiza just checking out the old town at the port really really nice just had some nice authentic Spanish cuisine which was incredible she's had to go home she's miserable but we're gonna go out in style we're going to high with Fisher tonight so uh, big energy should be really really good um, but yeah, here's a few clips from Ibiza Town. If you are coming out here, I would thoroughly recommend it. Loads of shops, bars, and restaurants to check out. Um, even if you just like people watching, it is just incredible. And as always, as I say, check out all of the nightlife here because it is just on uh, the next level. And 
And just like that, I am back here in the UK. Very sad to be back after an epic four days in Ibiza. Honestly, if you are a DJ and you haven't been to Ibiza, wherever you are in the world, try and get yourself there. The clubbing and the parties over there are literally second to none. Saw some incredible DJs, some incredible venues, and also as well picked up some great new music, hopefully to play at my DJ sets as well. Also, if you're not a DJ and you're just watching this because you're interested in going to Ibiza, I hope you enjoyed it. And I would say that if you're not into clubbing, Ibiza really does have something for everyone, whether it's beaches, whether it's scenery, great restaurants, great bars, and also as well, great towns and shops to walk around as well. There really is something for everyone. Hope you've enjoyed this video, something a bit different on the channel anyways. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so by hitting uh, the button over there and if you haven't seen my last video that is up there for you as ever and I will see you in the next one.